Are you answering to the will of the people? Are you answering to the will of the corporate oligarchs? Because that's what we're dealing with right now. But he is a corporate oligarch. He is. But he definitely walks to the beat of his own drum. He does, and yet he'll censor what he wants to censor. You know, he he didn't spend uh, a quarter of his fortune doing something that would really make a difference in independent media in the world and to really take a stand and really do anything when you have that kind of fuck you money. He didn't do that. No. He got a social media platform so that he could play like what? Like dick wars with other oligarchs and stupid crap. You know, he had he has the kind of money, you know, you're talking like Rupert Murdoch money. You have you're talking money like you could have an entire real free speech situation going. Yeah. And and instead he buys Twitter. So just let me so the whole concept of him being some sort of like, you know, real you know pioneer for free speech on social media. I'm just not buying it. Yeah, and the other problem you have with Musk, which has always been my biggest issue with him, is that he treats workers like shit. And that's the big thing. He's anti-labor. He doesn't pay a living. That's a, and and that's a big look, problem, too. If you look at what happened with Sean Fain, the UAW, and what the compensation package is for the auto workers at, at GM, at Chrysler, and what's the uh, third one that I'm forgetting? Stellaris. Uh, Stellaris. You know, they they are absolutely now, as a result of the strike, going to be fairly compensated. Prior to the strike. I love you, Sean Fain. They were making twice as much as Tesla employees were making. Now you add in how much more they're going to make in terms of benefits. I mean, that should be the glaring, mm -hmm. you know, you want to shine a light under Musk's ass. That's the thing that matters. Right. It's like the entire Trump presidency the corporate oligarchy in the neoliberal establishment was so focused on saying that Trump was a Russian asset. We all know that that's bullshit. And that, that there, everybody was essentially focusing on that as a means of trying to get him. But in reality, no one was talking about the fact that the biggest crime, if you will, that Trump committed as president was violating the emoluments clause. He was using the presidency to enrich himself. You know, like pretty much everybody in Congress does as well, you know, enriching themselves while they're there in elected office, you know, like our congresswoman. You know, they're never going to address that issue because that's the issue that everyone is violating. So you have to create shit. And the same is true with Elon Musk. If you're going to go after Musk, why are you going after him? Because he doesn't want to break bread with certain advertisers. We're going to play a clip. You're going to see exactly what we mean. I disagree with the idea of unions. But perhaps for a reason that is different than people may expect, which is I just don't like anything which creates kind of a lords and peasants sort of thing. And, and I think the unions naturally try to create negativity in a company and, and create a kind of, sort of lords and peasants uh, situation. That, and, and you're clarifying this now, um, but there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That there was, this had been said online, there was all of the criticism, there was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. But go fuck yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Well, well let me ask you then. That's how I feel. Don't but, advertise. How do you think then about the economics of, of X? If, 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 if part of the underlying model, at least today, and maybe it needs to shift, maybe the answer is it needs to shift away from advertising. Um, if, if you believe that this is the one part of your business where you will be beholden to those who uh, have this view, what do you do? F Y. I, I understand that, but there's a reality too, <laughs> right? Yes. No. No. It, it, I mean, Linda no, Yaccarino's right here, and she's got to sell advertising. I, 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 absolutely. So, um, no. No. Totally. So, so no, no. Actually, what what this advertising boycott is uh, is, is going to do? It's, it's going to kill the company. And you think that the company? I, I, but, and the whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company, and we will document it in great detail. But there are, those advertisers, I imagine, are going to say 
They're going to say, we didn't kill the company. Oh, yeah. They're going to say. Tell it to, tell it to Earth. <laughs> That's good. That last headline was perfect. Yeah. Well, you know, I liked how he started it. And I do agree. And if, if there is nothing to be said about having that kind of money, but the ability to tell people to go fuck themselves, I don't know what the point of it is. <gasps> Jen. I, I, no, seriously, like that actually had made sense. Right? But then when he was like not caring about the company imploding and, and that, then he just, he sounded like a petulant child. But then of course the it sounded big, stupid. But again, the big problem here is not that Elon used crass language. Who gives a damn? I actually agree with what he said. And if you don't agree, hey, that's on you. But to me, I like the idea of basically saying your corporate overlords are not going to have me answer to them. And that is the way that it should be. Now, you don't have to like Elon Musk, and there's a lot not to like. I'm but not the, a fan. But the most important part of that clip which is not even being talked about, is the fact that at the very beginning, he specifically says, I don't like unions. Well, and right now, and that, and that, it, and, and the way that he said it creates, what did he say, like a serfdom, as if he is not Lord Farquaad. That's, for anybody who knows Shrek, I'm telling you, he is Lord Farquaad. This man has such a major insecurity situation going on with himself. I don't know what he is compensating for. Well, he for. doesn't really have his his hair. Is, uh, it's a lot of things. It's all fun. It's a lot of things, okay? he's uh, There's something off there. There's just something off there. And, to, and, and, and I think it's your groove. Um, I think you may have made that comment. Um, okay, fine. You know what? Not all unions are created equal. We agree, which is why you look at, totally. we always say the best example is look at United Auto Workers with Sean Fain and the teachers union with Randy Weingarten. There is the distinction. You have a union that literally answers to the rank and file versus a union where Mrs. W Miss whatever Weingarten is judge, jury, and executioner of that union. And overwhelmingly, they disagree with what she does. The fact that she literally is locked arms with the Democratic Party yeah. establishment. I spoke to Randy Weingarten one time back in 2020, asking not for an endorsement, but for an interview with the teachers union when Jen was running against Wasserman Schultz for Congress. Her response was one sentence, and that was the end of it. I support Wasserman Schultz, and that's it. Okay, and I think that the more important issue, other than the the down the rabbit hole with the teachers union, is that regarding unions, is that we acknowledge that there are a lot of problems. In, Absolutely. In, in labor unions, and that you know all organizations sort of like become like too big for themselves, and that is a problem. However, statistically speaking, um, and when we look at other countries and throughout history. Um, we have a better economic situation when our unions are strong. Mm -hmm. We have a better economy when we've got workers that have disposable income. And that is something that even though I don't agree with all different unions, statistically speaking, unions are better for having workers have better conditions. That's it's just the way it is. Definitely agree. And I like this idea, Ron. Well, I'm for Elon to sell Twitter, but not to the oligarchs. Hey, listen, the best situation would be like the Green Bay Packers. Let people buy shares in the company. Totally. That's the way that, that <laughs> then you could really have the that's people a legacy. have a say. That's a legacy. And if he really honestly, that's the kind of thing that you do when you want to not be just all about yourself. That's true. And I think that at times Musk. Musk is he's a very worker co op. Musk is, a, Musk is definitely, let's put it this way of all the billionaire oligarchs minus Mark Cuban, Elon Musk is definitely has the most unique personality out of anybody. That's not, it's not, a it's not really saying it's well, listen, I don't think the one thing I'll say about Musk is I don't think he's a full blown sociopath the way that Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos are. But Bill that Gates. doesn't mean Bill Gates. Well, Bill Gates is the king of the mountain. He's he's the on king. that. He's on the Mount Rushmore of the okay. biggest psychopathic oligarchs. Uh, but ultimately, he's still an oligarch and he's still answering to his ego and what he wants. Now, the fact that he's not giving in to that particular side of corporate oligarchy where you have these advertisers who, you know, <laughs> don't want people talking about what's going on in Israel, Palestine. Musk is like, hey, listen, they're going to fucking talk about it. And that's the end of the and discussion. And by the way, I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know that because I didn't know what it was referencing in terms of what advertisers he's talking about. So he is specifically regarding advertisers that are referencing him as anti-Semitic for whatever it was that he said or did or posted. Which, is, or which again, is all BS. Well, and I don't know whether, again, and I don't know whether he's anti-Semitic or not. I, it's actually irrelevant to me. Um, but... 
So that's what the advertisers have their panties in a bunch about is something that was anti-Semitic. And so he gave them the F you. See, I got to respect that. I got to I got to give props when props are due. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media and consider joining our Patreon where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.